Out of Washington, Senate Democrats and Republicans say they have reached an agreement on infrastructure. But it's not quite a done deal yet. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here in studio with the latest on what's going on. Dick? Well, Christina Marie, so how's this for a concept? Republicans and Democrats actually agreeing on something important. This is following weeks of talks. The Senate is preparing to take another procedural vote to begin debate on a physical infrastructure package. Tonight, I'm intending to call a vote to move to proceed to the bipartisan infrastructure bill. I believe we have the votes for that. Both sides say there is agreement on the major issues of a breakthrough bill. It would pour some $550 billion of new federal spending into transit, rail, and water systems, along with roads and bridges. I'm uh, confident that we will be able to get it across the finish line. The nation is sorely in need of repair. 42% of the nation's bridges are at least 50 years old. 220,000 require work, including the Brooklyn Bridge here in New York, and nearly 80,000 need to be replaced. While there's a lot we don't agree on, I believe that we should be able to work together on the few things we do agree on. But things are more complicated on the House side, where Democrats have tied the infrastructure bill to a much more controversial $3.5 trillion spending package. And Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez sharply criticized Democratic Senator Kristen Sinema, who objected to the price tag. AOC tweeted, good luck tanking your own party's investment on child care, climate action, and infrastructure while presuming you'll survive a three-vote House margin, especially after choosing to exclude members of color from negotiations and calling that a bipartisan accomplishment. And Speaker Pelosi ducked when asked her reaction to the infrastructure bill. So you asked me to commit to something that none of us has seen. We are rooting for it. We hoping for the best. And bipartisanship has been in short supply on the House side, where the relationship between the Speaker and Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy has deteriorated and likely made worse after reporters told Pelosi that McCarthy opposed a House mask mandate. Leader McCarthy, Leader McCarthy says it's against the science. The science. The science. She said he's a moron. That won't help things. There will likely be a procedural vote on the infrastructure bill tonight. And to move it forward, it's not clear what the timetable will be after that. But there may be a few more go-arounds on Capitol Hill. Maurice and Christine. Okay, Dick, thank you.